Yeah, yeah. Some um, obviously, we've just seen the statement about Christian Eriksen's injury. Um, how is he mentally? How are you guys? I mean, it's, it's a huge blow. Uh, of course, uh, he's disappointed about. We are disappointed about. But yeah, that's happened in top football. Um, uh, it shouldn't have happened, but yeah, it did, and yeah, you have to deal with it. He's obviously been a very important player for you since he's arrived. Do you believe you have enough depth to cover him in the squad, and or is it, as it's deadline day, could you move in the market to, to replace him? Uh, as you said, <laughs> something coming out on on de uh, deadline day, then it's difficult, and you can't make policy on such bad injuries. Uh, but we have um, we have players uh, in the midfield department and good players. Um, we also uh, um, uh, we, we have players who can fill that gap. I mean, in terms of filling that gap, how how do you do that? Because you you don't seem to have someone who can come in and do exactly what Christian's done in terms of controlling games. That has been one of the major reasons why Manchester United have been so much better this season than last. Yeah, but I think you can never. Uh, feel that uh, because every player has his own characteristics uh, and identity. So um, another player will always fill it in in a different way. But that doesn't mean that you uh, have to be less successful. Uh, but uh, it's quite clear uh, that Christian Eriksen, that is uh, for our squad, uh, that is uh, that brings top quality, and especially uh, he has some specifics what is hard to replace and for instance his impact in the final third, uh, final ball. People might look at the fact that Fred for instance scored um, on Saturday whenever it was and also he plays very well with Casemiro for the Brazilian national team. He He's a big personality, is he the type of player who can come in and take authority and maybe raise his game to a level that that supporters have not seen. Ah, but I think you you mentioned already in your first uh, sentence. Eh? He's playing together with uh, Casemiro um, in Brazilian squad. <laughs> I would say that's not the worst squad eh, in the world, uh, and they have so many ch choices what they can make, but uh, they often prefer to play them together. So that that tells something about uh, the quality Fred has and what he can contribute to the team and that uh, he did it all several times when I see his performance, for instance, against Tottenham Hotspur, uh, for instance, against Manchester City. Um, uh, when he's coming on uh, last game, straight score goal. So he has a lot of qualities and I think they are a really good combination, Casemiro and Fred. If incomings are unlikely at this point, Eric, in the window, what about outgoings? Uh, think of the likes of Anthony Langer, Facundo Pellestri, Brandon Williams. Could any of those leave before the deadline tonight? Yeah, it could be, but it uh, uh, depends on certain circumstances. Would that only be on, on loan for the rest of the season? If if, anything if so, that would be likely, yeah, uh, that would be loans, yeah. And when you see what the likes of Chelsea are doing in this window, how does that impact the the balance in the Premier League, spending so much money at this stage of the season? I, I can't talk for um, for other clubs huh? and I'm talking for our club and uh, we have a, a, a strategy and, and we and so we keep the strategy where we want to go and we want to restore Manchester United uh, where they belong and we are in a good direction and so also um, it has to match our financial frames. And yeah, so um, we started in the season and uh, we keep consistent to that plan and to the strategy. And I think we're developing as, as a club, we're developing as a squad um, in a way of play. Um, I think uh, you see also the results uh, in the process. And so we make the, the right progress. So we have to keep, to keep the pro uh, process going and keep improving every day. Hi Eric. Hi. Um, Aaron Wambasek has been in lovely form recently. We've seen him play more higher at the pitch and more inverted. How impressed have you been with his performance? And is that more what you expect from the fullbacks? And lastly, in terms of in the last game we saw Wild Weghorst, you know, new player that's been brought in, expecting to play more direct into him. We saw Facundo play an excellent cross into him. We 
expect to see that next phase of our football? Yes, yeah, definitely. I think um, Aaron, he was so often or uh, ill or injured start of the season, so he wasn't in the, um, so in the right spirit to to contribute. A uh, lot of dropouts, and then in the restart, um, he was available and uh, he get uh, um, used to our way of play, or what we what we introduced. And I think he made a good development, he made a good progress. And I think you see him uh, growing game by game. And I'm happy that also what I think was, was quite well uh, in the last games, the, the connection between Aaron and Anthony was much better. Yeah. And then you see yeah, much more difficulties for the opponent. And also we have to, uh, to work on that we uh, even have more uh, bodies their occupation around them and so they have more uh, uh, opportunities to play over um, so and then to Wout I think Wout is first game is integrating really well uh, and uh, he's just doing what I expected him to do and of course routines has to come but the more you play together the more it will come and um, uh, so I expect even uh, yeah, a better performance from him.